What if the ocean disappeared? All right, first let's see what happens if sea levels rise, and then we'll see what happens if sea levels completely vanished altogether. Oh, there's already a hole in Australia! We've gone 26 meters higher, and there's a giant hole in Australia. Oh my god, look at the UK! That's my house there! I'm underwater already! Okay, well, let's continue. Oh my, right, we're at 40 meters, and I'm not seeing much of a change to North America. South America is having a pretty significant change over in Brazil. Oh god, look at the UK! UK and Ireland, they are low down, aren't they? Look, Ireland's been affected, UK's shriveling up. Africa's generally pretty high up, so it's pretty much unaffected at the moment. South America's taken some significant chunks, the Australian hole is still pretty big, but to be fair, I mean, no one lived there anyway, so it don't matter. Let's see what happens when we got to 100 meters higher. Okay, everything is just slowly disappearing. At what point is Africa gonna start being affected? The British Isles, they are out of here. Do you know what? Russia is disappearing quite quickly as well. Oh god, look at Italy! Yeah, Europe is a lot different at 151 meters. Oh, and North Africa has actually started to be affected. We can see that a lot of Libya has been taken away and the Mediterranean Sea, it's opened wide up. 150 meters. We're getting on to 200 meters now. British Isles basically gone. Scotland's actually looking all right though, to be fair. Look at Australia. It's kind of splitting into two islands, which looks pretty wild. A lot of Asia is very, very scarce now. Papua New Guinea is nowhere to be seen. Oh, India's become its own little cool island thing. South America is out of here. Meanwhile, Canada, it's looking pretty good. USA on the other hand, not so much. Kind of looks like it's just merged into Mexico at this point. Oh, and Finland has really been done dirty there. Okay, right, we're reaching 300 meters now. And yeah, there we go. Western Africa is out of here, but South Africa still standing strong. Whoa, you see that bit of river there? Oh, it looks so cool when you actually catch it, like jump in and expand outwards. I mean, you know, millions would die, so it's not cool in that respect. But watching my YouTube video, I'm having a great time. We are really, really losing a lot of the world now. But I tell you what, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Zambia, they're doing all right. Australia's just gone. I thought that was New Zealand, but New Zealand's over here. <laughs> it's very interesting seeing the mountain ranges along the west of the Americas. And also the Himalayas and China, they're standing pretty strong. What's going to be the last, though? That's what I'm quite excited to see. Right, we're approaching a thousand meters now, which is colossal difference. Greenland is doing okay. As is Antarctica to be fair down the bottom 1,600 meters and also this area of China just looks pretty much unaffected too a little bit of Hawaii is still kind of poking out as well which I'm very surprised about right we're reaching 3,000 meters and there it is there it is there it is that's the cutoff for Greenland that's the cutoff for Antarctica we've still got Chile oh Chile's been eaten up now and what about this area of China Kathmandu there it goes there it goes it's the last bit standing wait for it wait for it and it is gone the world is a big blue ball. Okay, it stopped at 8,848, and now it's time for the reverse. Whoa! So we get to see everything pop back up. This is gonna be so exciting. Starting with China. Here it comes. Yes! Alright, and then we slide over to Chile. Looking very good. What's gonna be next? Oh, Antarctica and Greenland are emerging. Los Angeles is even having a little bit of activity. Oh, and then we've got East Africa. We've got the Horn of Africa's appearing. South Africa's appearing. Blue New Zealand's doing its thing down the bottom. No sign of London yet, though. I will be honest. Alright, we're at 800 is everything could should kind of just appear in this last kind of 500 meters again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. British Isles still not really doing too much other than Scotland. Europe is reappearing. South America is being stitched back together and we are just about back to normal again. It's amazing watching every little segment reappear. But then look at this, we get to zero. Now it's time to find out what would happen if all of the water in the world disappeared. Oh my God. So look, we've already got Brazil is growing at a rapid rate. Oh my God. Do you UK and France are connected with just 35 meters. That is a huge difference. Look at all the land appearing. So if I remember correctly, there was like a, was it called like Doggerland? Yes, there it was. This was an ancient bridge that kind of connected the UK with the rest of Europe and it's since been submerged underwater. So obviously that's going to reappear first, as you can see. And I think there was an ancient Zealand continent as well, which might start appearing above New Zealand, but we will wait and see. Right, we need to pause and we need to have a look at stuff. Tasmania has connected with the rest of Australia and Australia has connected to Papua New Guinea. Sri Lanka and India have connected and it's like India's like doing a little fist bump towards the Maldives. All the Caribbean islands have got a little bit girthier. The UK just looks like scrambled egg has erupted in a microwave. It's just pouring in every direction which is very surprising and we've lost a lot of sea over in Europe as well. So this is probably never gonna happen. Sea levels are rising. They're not decreasing. Look at Europe just disappear. What's going on with me ancient Zealandia continent? Did I just make that up or what? We're at two 
Lua Ruiz, and I'm curious, will Madagascar ever connect with the rest of Africa? I guess it's gonna at some point, isn't it? If literally all of the water goes. That would be so weird. Tell you what, Russia is just getting scarier and scarier. It just looks like it's taken over the entirety of everything. 600 now. We've got new areas of land appearing down here, which is very interesting to see. Look at that, we've got a big line for New Zealand. Maybe that's that continent that I was referring to. Oh, and look at big fat Florida as well. <laughs> Florida, far, far girthier. Yeah, and you can see that the UK and Iceland and Greenland all now officially connect. At what point will the Americas and Europe connect? It's gonna happen. We're 2,000 meters now. Oh, here we go. This is my ancient New Zealand continent submerged thing that I was referring to. It's all appearing now in front of me. Oh my God, look at this. Look at all of the new areas of land that is appearing. Oh, this is getting a bit mental now because we're reaching like the bottom of the ocean. Oh God, no, look at that. What's gonna be the last little bit of water then? I guess the deepest point, Mariana Trench, although I don't actually know where that is. Oh my god, this looks insane. This is crazy. 6,000 meters. Look at that. A little bit of water poking out. We still got water around Japan as well. Look at that. It's got like a perfect line of it. Still got a little bit of water down there as well. 8,000 meters. Wow. Are we stopping at 10? We're stopping at 9999. Incredible. All right, thank you for watching. That's what would happen if all of the water in the earth disappeared. Link to GPS cycling at the top of the description. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you later.